Hey again there guys, Emma here from Paint and Pino giving you some top tips for all things art and design. And today we're going to be painting a portrait of the Perth-born legend that is Heath Ledger. And of course his famous portrayal of the Joker from Batman. Never start with the head. But the difference is we're going to be painting this portrait using a toothbrush. So the first thing we want to do guys is we're just going to load it up with black. We're simply going to paint a mono portrait. So you can see I put it on both sides. That just gives me a little bit more flexibility as to whether I use just the flat plastic side of the brush to give me like those individual lines or if I can use the actual brush side of the brush to give me a little bit more textural. So I'm going straight onto the page here just by sketching out the actual facial proportions Something like this really requires a lot of confidence when it comes to painting portraiture. I would actually have no qualms in getting somebody to just basically trace the sort of basic image underneath if you're less confident doing portraits itself. This is all about mark making guys, so rather than just going with a basic line, I'm actually working the lines over and over and over, which is why I'm using the toothbrush, because of course every individual stroke means I'm actually going to get several lines over. So it just gives a really lovely loose style of drawing or painting, depending on how you want to refer to it. So the feature here now is the eyes. The famous Joker face of Heath Ledger, he really had a sinister look about him. So I'm just sketching these in initially. Then I can actually add some of the, the detail as you can see just here. Now this does take a lot of practice. The trick is to get those individual lines. The technique to doing that is really to try and tilt the brush to the side. So you can see just here, where I'm trying to get those individual lines working through, it's really trying to use just one of the bristles on the brush as opposed to the whole brush itself. I like to work in layers, guys, whenever I do a painting. So this is simply just the background layer at this stage. And I'm going to be working lines and lines and lines to really build up some of those textual qualities. I also find with something like this, the more pigment you use, the more control you're actually going to have. But of course, if you have too much paint on those bristles of the toothbrush, you're going to lose that individual quality as well. So it's, it's a fine balance so that you can get those individual lines as, uh, as I'm sketching. Just sketching out his jacket now. He has quite a an elaborate, almost 1970s jacket on, so large lapels. And of course, the beauty with using a toothbrush is you can paint in tonal areas really quickly because I'm just using the full front flat head of the actual brush to get those darker areas. Whereas when I'm doing something like this with the mouth and the nose, I'm just working on the edge of the brush just to have a little bit more detail. So you can see here with the close-up what I mean by trying to get those individual strokes, just literally bending the brush onto one of the bristles so you can get those individual lines. Now to really make this portrait work, you've got to work layers and layers and layers. So I'm actually going to forward the video in a moment, just because it took about 30 minutes of individual line mark making to try and get those really fine detail lines. It wasn't particularly entertaining to watch for you guys, so I've had to forward that on a little bit, but it just gives you an idea of the, the amount of detail you can actually work just using something as simple as a, as a toothbrush. And I'm a massive fan of using different tools, guys, rather than just put traditional brushes or pens because it just gives a different quality to your drawing. I was always traditionally a very perfectionist painter and using things like toothbrushes really helps to loosen up that style and just create a technique that perhaps I wasn't as familiar with um, before using things like paint brushes. So at the moment I'm just toning or sketching out the tonal areas but the actual line detail is what I'm really looking to to get. So here I've actually forwarded the video on and you can see 
those are lines which did literally take about probably longer than 30 minutes actually just trying to really work the edge of the toothbrush just to get those very individual scratchy lines but it gives a really lovely quality to the painting almost reflecting the characteristic of the character of the Joker a bit scatty, a bit manic a bit out of control So here you can see the close-up of where those tonal areas really work with the brush. So you can actually work really quite quickly when it comes to doing something as opposed to working with a pen, which would take a lot of time just to try and colour those areas in. The toothbrush actually really gives you a lot more control than you think. So you can see here some examples of just getting those individual lines, but it does take a lot of practice and a lot of patience. But part of the beauty of this drawing as well, guys, is that you also are having that almost, it's like a controlled, out of control drawing. So you've got lots of lines, lots of scatty mark making, but you've still got the overall features of the face. And there you have it. Heath Ledger's The Joker.